Hey, what's up, traders? This is Stan Guzman here with Seven Points Capital, bringing to you today's trade takeaways. Uh, so, I'm gonna do a, uh, takeaways a little bit early today. It's uh, 3:13. I don't really see anything trending into the close. Um, so, let's wrap this up a little bit early today. Uh, overall, pretty slow day. A couple setups here and there, uh, but pretty pretty much a very slow day low liquidity low volume type of a day SPY um, is trending down the entire day so yesterday we got down massively uh, like I think a percent and a half and then really strong day and then today we got down again and we just can't hold it so we'll see uh, what happens from here um, so let's just jump into the stocks that we traded today. I'll just show you um, a few losers and a few winners. I think I traded like more than 12 stocks today, but I'll show you just the main ones. Uh, some losers, PRPO. I thought that we broke the 750. Um, my, stop, my stop was a little bit too close. I think that was the problem. I should have had the stop way higher, above 8 bucks. But I was, try, I was trying to join the trend here and uh, got stopped out. But those were only uh, starter positions, uh, so I didn't get hurt too much. Um, I was waiting for, for a trend to, to form and then to add in the money. The next one was a RCI. Uh, so this one is just like a gap and fade type of type of a setup but I think somebody pumped this at the open and I got stopped out uh, I was in the money like you know pretty nicely over here uh, I was planning on covering in this area right here but I got stopped out um, AMTX uh, this one is from yesterday so this is an interesting one we traded like 30 million shares yesterday and Today I was thinking we're gonna follow through to the downside, and somehow we just we just did not um, shorted it, and this was just painful to hold. So I uh, kind of slowly got out. It was pretty painful to get out. There's no volume today. I think it traded about a million shares so far. Let's see what else. MBRX. Uh, so this one scored pretty high on our. Um, all day fade scale and shorted this out of the gate um, and this thing started to uptrend it started to kind of base at the pretty much at the high of the pre-market and started to rip up so I started getting long and I got out there was enough liquidity to get out in one shot and then I started shorting it covered it so that was pretty much a break-even trade a small loser some winners, AKRX, joined the trend, this was another gap up, it washed out, um, I didn't think it was going to wash out that hard, but as soon as it bounced back to resistance, uh, shorted it, full size, scaled out into the uh, dump, and I think I overfilled a little bit, so I just uh, got out real quickly. Uh, the next one, so BYND is an interesting one. Uh, that's the recent IPO that's been rallying uh, straight up for a couple days now. And I think tomorrow they have they're gonna have options. So I was thinking maybe uh, maybe it's gonna roll over for the next uh, few days. Maybe it's gonna roll over. Maybe the options uh, trades are gonna kick in and 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 the, you know more or less a true value. Is going to show on the tape so I started shorting this 85 it was holding so for, I started off with a long and then started shorting 85s and kind of trading around the core and I put a stop above 85 and was didn't think I was gonna get stopped out but I got stopped out they ran the stops and then they pulled the bids but we'll see how it trades tomorrow uh, we'll be trading options most likely um, as well as the stock um, ATAI uh, so this one uh, started rallying 
um, at the open and then I started shorting but I noticed the bids are holding the bids are soaking so I started covering my shorts and going long uh, sold it into the pop bought the dip again sold it again and then I started getting short I covered most of it and then put a stop above this uh, above my entry and then got stopped out uh, but that was a pretty good one uh, I think second best stock on the day and then the best one was SUNW uh, so this one I scalped in the morning and um, built up a little bit of a PL cushion, kind of shorting this exhaustion and then covering into the washout. So if you're shorting, if I'm shorting front side, I want to cover front side. So right here, that front side was slowly turning back into the back side. So once we start putting on lower highs right here, that's when I knew, okay, we start to crack this uh, support and I want to add because this now looks like it wants to roll over it's curling down and I'm not sure what happened somebody said offering rumors but I couldn't find anything uh, relevant here and um, it just washed out really hard I know there's a lot of a lot of Robin Hood accounts involved in this uh, so that's like partially the reason why I shorted it um, and uh, also there was a a couple of crazy offers layered out right here like 100k offers at three different uh, prices I think 98 99 and two dollars so that kind of gave me the conviction to uh, take a starter and then to add <clears throat> so that was a really nice one and uh, that's pretty much it uh, that's it for the day if you guys have any questions you can tweet at me at your trader this is Stan Guzman I'll see you guys in the next one peace Oh <laughs>